Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and to this inbox review. Okay, so in this episode we are going to take a closer look at the Revell 132 scale Polycarpov I-16 Type 24 Rata. So this kit is a rebox of uh, plastic from uh, ICM and uh, I bought this kit because I thought that the, the MiG-25 uh, uh, rebox that Revell did from, from ICM Spruce looked so great so I thought that this was an interesting subject to have a closer look at. And also I got it at a very good price, so I think I paid something like uh, 18 euros uh, for this kit. Which I think it's uh, quite a good price for a 1 to a 32 scale. Alright, so um, yeah, if we look at the gift box we have uh, some box art of uh, all the aircraft in, uh, in black and uh, green uh, livery. And... Um, on the sides we have the usual uh, information about the kit. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about that. Uh, on the back side we have um, a new, some photos of, I think this is a built up model. Um, and uh, some information about, um, yeah, the, the kit. Uh, the aircraft and you also have a paint call out here um, yeah okay so let's open up the box and see what's inside so first of all we have um, three, four screws, uh, three in grey plastic and one clear part. We have the assembly instructions. I got a small safety safety leaflet and the decals. Okay, let's begin by looking at the first sprue. In the center here we have the fuselage uh, halves. Um, and uh, as you can see there are no rivet details on the on the sides here because this aircraft was uh, was built from um, uh, plywood and uh, covered with uh, with fabric. And um, uh, the, the same goes for the vertical stabilizer. You can see there is actually really nice texture here, or, or you can see the fabric is sort of uh, stretched over the um, the, the internal structure. So uh, really nice done. And um, if we look at the wheels. There are some really, really nice details around the, the hub. Um, yeah, looks good. And we have the front of the engine and the underside of the engine. We got some control surfaces. Uh, these are made in halves, so you have to glue them together. Um, yeah, same goes for the, the for the flaps. Yep. And I think these are the horizontal stabilizers. And the spinner. Um, yeah, I think it looks really good. 
um, there are some details on the on the near the uh, tail fin here so it's it's not a completely <laughs> sort of blank sheet of the aircraft if we continue with the second sprue we have uh, the large uh, wing underside of the wing and here we have a lot of more details and uh, also not so much in the in the wheel compartment but i i don't know if there actually are some details there, there or not um, we have the landing gear legs some doors or uh, hatches for the landing gear base and a front section yep we have the sides of the of the cowls here and the prop it looks really nice I don't know how much of of the of the center part where that you can see on, on the when it's uh, fully assembled but uh, it looks really nice I think um, yeah some small flash here and there but very very little it's uh, it's almost uh, not noticeable I uh, I've seen far worse from Ravel in terms of that um, yeah here are the here you can see the ICM label on, on the on the sprue tree so this is definitely an ICM ICM uh, from my ICM tooling. All right. Okay, so here we have the um, third sprue with a lot of internal details and, and the engine. Um, yeah, they have done a really good job with the uh, with the tooling, I think. Uh, everything is very nicely um, protected and, I and they have really done a lot of work to uh, to make sure that there is no short molds or or uh, or any other molding is issues and this is the seat I think yeah Yeah, this looks uh, this looks awesome. The engine is uh, really nice. It's a pity that you don't see much of it uh, when the aircraft is built up, but uh, the engine looks really good. And I can get this in focus. The guns look quite nice too. Yeah. Okay, so the clear part is really nicely wrapped up in uh, <laughs> in uh, in its own bag here. I have to open this carefully so I don't break anything. There's not so many parts, clear parts. Uh, there is a gun sight, uh, the front, the windscreen, uh, the instrument panel, which I think will look great with uh, with um, a decal sheet on there, and some I think some navigation lights. 
everything uh, looks uh, really good. Uh, this uh, type of aircraft doesn't have any canopy, so it's only the, the windscreen. Okay, so uh, next we have the decals. So there are not many of them, but they look quite nice. We have the, all the dials for the um, instrument panel, some stencils, and uh, aircraft numbers, and the Russian uh, star. And they look really nice. They have made cutouts in the carrier film here to, to uh, to reduce, um, uh, I guess, the chance of that um, being seen. But I see that around uh, the numbers, they have still have the um, the carrier film, and I think that is just because you make it easier to place place them, and uh, so you don't have a, a wrong or uneven uh, distance between the the digits or the numbers. Yep, so uh, not much to say here. It uh, looks really nice and uh, they have a sort of uh, matte, semi-matte uh, or satin finish, so they are not glossy. So um, yeah, that looks really good. So on the first page we have an illustration of the aircraft and a reference to the safety uh, leaflet that uh, was also included in the kit. And if we turn the page we have some um, yeah, basic scale modeling uh, uh, advices, I would call it, and how to uh, what the different symbols mean throughout the build. Uh, after that we have the paint callout with uh, references to Revel colors. And we have the sprue callout. And uh, most of the parts seems to be used. It's only these parts over here that are masked, so to, they, sh they should not be used. And the build starts with the um, main wing and after that we continue with the cockpit tub, all the different parts, the instrument panel with the decal. Uh, yeah, we put everything together into one side of the fuselage, nothing strange there. And then we add the seat. And some additional small parts. I have no idea how deep, how much detail uh, or wires and things or and hoses that are present in the aircraft. I have to actually have to see if I can find uh, reference pictures to, to look that up. But I, th I, th I think that this, if there are a lot of wires and hoses and tubes and stuff, then this could actually be very fun to uh, to detail up. So. Uh, so when I start to build this, I have to uh, look up the references to see what the cockpit looks like, because uh, uh, yeah, it's, it looks a little bit empty <laughs> as it is, but uh, I guess you can always add stuff just to make it busy. But it's more fun to do it uh, like like the real thing. All right. Uh, yep, then we have the, this is some kind of anti-glare paint, I guess, for the, um, for the IP cover. Yeah. Then we put the fuselage and the wings together and add the flaps. Um, and the rest of the control surfaces. Yep. And then we have the engine. We 
which seems like um, it's not so many parts actually so it's yeah but that 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 could be a really fun build to, to do that and the prop and the different the engine cowlings and the front and the cover that is so you sort of move that depending on how um, how much cooling you want to, for the engine um, I guess the, these aircraft were operated in, uh, in in a very harsh winter environment so uh, maybe you had to make sure that the um, that you uh, that you didn't cool it too much I guess I don't know if that is an issue <laughs> to be honest okay so um, we have the prop and the spinner and the guns and uh, yeah the guns were actually I don't know if this if it's this aircraft or type I have to check that but I think the guns were mounted upside down and there was some issues uh, with that from the beginning that they they fixed that uh, uh, eventually I'm not sure if the type 24 had that gun arrangement but I have to check that okay so uh, then we have the the usual uh, choices between gear up or gear down and um, it's actually nice that you have sort of colored uh, that you get some kind of guideline with the coloring because uh, the old Ravel instructions are I think very tricky to to follow the the paint uh, guidelines or paint callouts they use sort of dashed and uh, um, different type of uh, patterns for different type of, of paints, uh, paints, and uh, it's it's really difficult to uh, if you have a complex uh, camo scheme or something, then it's really difficult to follow that. So this is definitely an improvement compared to the old uh, old ones. All right, so we are continuing with the uh, landing gear struts, uh, the wheels. And the one clear part actually in top in the front of the spinner. That's interesting. No, that's the tail. I was wrong. It's not the the spinner. It's um, it's actually some kind of uh, tail part or part of the fuselage at the, the rear end. All right. Okay. So um, then we have. Um, one of the paint schemes are two there i think there should be two of them yeah this is the second one and yeah that's it i think it's a really great looking kit and um, um, it's quite a small aircraft, so if you are concerned about size uh, of the final model, when the for 132 scale kits, uh, and you are used to 148, for example, then I think this is uh, definitely for you, because the the it will not be that massive when it's uh, <laughs> when it's done. So um, so I could really recommend that. And uh, I think this is, it looks like a quite an easy build, so uh, it says level 5, but I think an intermediate builder could uh, easily get this one together. Um, yeah, and for the price, I think uh, it is around 40-50 euros around. Um, I got it for... Uh, something 18 19 euros um, and uh, it's sold here in Sweden in, you can find it at a good price um, at dollar store so if you have one of those near where you live to go check check them out and uh, they have a couple of revel kits uh, but you not very many of them but they you find them in in the toy store uh, toy department 
so uh, so yeah um, this is something that I really look forward to build and also I will do some research and uh, check if I can do some detailing and uh, and uh, something like that so so yeah that's it guys uh, thank you for watching and I see you in the next episode goodbye